Hello, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and on this channel we talk about faith, culture, and media awareness. And today I'm going to talk about how to be successful in God's eyes. So, I've talked about this before. I think it was in the video, the one about uh, be perfect or I'm not perfect and that's okay. And I talked about doing things for an audience of one and that is God. So today's topic is, is, is on how to be successful in God's eyes. First of all, I think that people don't realize how much God loves us. So the first point is that God loves us unconditionally. And many people who, I've read a lot about this topic of um, parents I'm getting off on a, t a tangent here, but it's relevant to this. Children who have been raised by parents that loved them are better able to accept God's love because they had parents that modeled that. It's not to say that people that their you know their parents were all imperfect, but their parents were maybe too harsh or maybe not around or whatever but children children's relationship with their parents has a very big impact on their ability to connect with God so I think I, I found that uh, research to be very fascinating if I can find and I, I might do a whole a whole topic on that but number one is God loves you unconditionally and no matter what your parents were like um, God is your parent and he loves you more than anything and I think that just really realizing that is number one number two we need to reciprocate that love we our response to God's love is to love him back really until you realize that God's real and I'll do a whole nother video on that how do you know God's real until you encounter God personally in some way it's hard to really believe that God's real I admit that there's no doubt about that I mean I was there most people are there it's not about just a bunch of rules it's about a relationship with God and I'll do a whole other video on that our love for God needs to be reciprocated after we realize he's real and then number three is to be in relationship with God and if you love somebody passionately like God loves us you want to spend all your time with that person you know think about someone when they first fall in love they all they do is they talk about that person all the time they want to be with that person all the time when they're not with that person they're thinking about that person all the time I mean it's it's pretty hilarious actually but so apply that idea of being in relationship with God and you know you know people that maybe weren't into God and then all of a sudden they maybe went on a retreat and they had a conversion of some sort or encounter with God and then they're all gaga about God okay that was me that's still me but it's it's about being in relationship so that's number three and then number four is do whatever he tells you and that's those words are actually if you if you think back to the story of the wedding at Cana and Jesus and Mary are at this family members wedding and they run out of wine and Mary knew that Jesus was God so Mary goes to Jesus and says you know look they don't have any wine God <laughs> can you take care of this so and then Jesus says back well 
you know, it's not my time yet. You know, basically, I'm, I'm not doing any miracles yet. It's not part of the plan. And Mary doesn't really take no for an answer. That's why Catholics go to go Mary, you know, when they need help with Jesus. They say, hey, Mary, go talk to Jesus. But so Mary looked at the wedding attendants and just kind of looked at Jesus and said, you know, do whatever he tells you. And um, that's kind of Mary's message to us. Do whatever Jesus tells you to do. And we know the rest of the story. Jesus told the, the waiters at this wedding to go fill up those jars of water. And then they tasted it. And Jesus had turned it into wine. So do whatever he tells you is really Mary telling us. And, and me telling you to do whatever Jesus tells you to do. And how do we know what that is? Well, you've got the whole Bible that tells you what to do. You have the Catholic Church that Jesus gave us to interpret the Bible and to um, who ba basically gave us the Bible because, um, and I, that's a whole other topic, but um, so we have, we know what to do. So it's really about being in obedience to God. So how do we be successful in God's eyes? And I'm going to go over the four points just really quickly. To be successful in God's eyes, we need to, one, realize that God loves us more than anything. Two, accept that love and reciprocate that love. Number three, be in a relationship with God, meaning you know, spending time with him in prayer, um, going to mass, going to adoration, um, reconciling with him through uh, the sacrament of reconciliation, or also known as confession. And so being in a relationship with him, and that's going to be different for everybody, but those are some really great ways to do that that the church gives us. And then number four is be in obedience. Do whatever he tells you to do. So those are my four tips. Again, we are, really we are, everything that we do in life is for an audience of one. When it's all said and done, I want to get to the pearly gates and I want them to open up and I go right in and have a great time. Um, so the only person that really matters is God and what he thinks. And if we do things his way, life will be very good now and in the future. So God bless you. Uh, if you haven't clicked subscribe, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Share this with other people that you think might benefit from it. And until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.